God bless you and the two brothers I'm going to tell about. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers who were very poor. They were not able to keep their family and decided that the elder brother worked as a farmer for a rich landowner and sent his earnings home. No sooner said than done. The younger brother stayed at home and the elder one was hired to a rich man. The agreement was that he should work until spring, until the first cuckoo called. All was fine, but the landowner added a condition. If either of us gets angry with the other one before then, he will pay fine. If you get angry with me, you will pay me a thousand rubles. But I haven't any money, said the poor man. That doesn't matter. If you lose, you will stay and work for me 10 years for free. The brother agreed. Early in the next morning, the rich owner sent him to work in the fields. The farmer worked in the fields all day long and returned home in the evening very tired. The owner said to him, Why have you come home so early? The sun has set. The sun has gone down, but the Moon is up? Do you mean I can never rest? cried the farmer. You are getting angry, asked the owner. No, 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 I'll have just a little rest and then go out to the, to the field again. He worked all night until the moon went down, but then the sun came up again. The poor farmer began to curse his landowner. Let all you field bread and your money be cursed. Ah, as you are getting angry, told the rich man. The poor farmer didn't know what to do. So don't forget our agreement. Now you must pay me a thousand rubles, or you must work for me for free for ten years. The poor man had to sign a paper starting. He owed the owner a thousand rubles and went home empty-handed. At home, he told the whole story to his younger brother, who said, Don't worry, now you stay at home, and I will go for work. He went to the some rich owner. His brother had worked before. The owner offered him the same conditions. No, that's not enough, agreed the younger brother. Let's make it two thousand rubles. You pay me if you get angry, and 2,000 rubles I pay you if get angry, or work 20 years for you without playing. Agreed, cried the rich owner. Next morning, as the sun was already high up in the sky, the owner found a new worker, still asleep. Get up quickly, it's nearly noon, and you did not start the work yet. You are getting angry, asked the farmer, suddenly opening his eyes. No, no, by no means, answered the owner. I was only suggesting it was the time for you for you to go to the field. Oh, there is enough time for that, answered the farmer. Finally, he got up and began slowly pulling on his boots. Will you hurry up a bit? Are you getting angry? No, no, I only wanted to say that you'd be late for work. Well, that's okay, but remember our agreement. At last the worker was ready and reached the fields. What's the use of working now? It's too late. Look, everybody's having his lunch. Let us us have some meal too, said the farmer. They sat down and ate. Then the worker said, I'm a hard working man, I need to have a short nap. And he went to sleep and slept until e the evening. Hey, wake up, get up, I say, all the neighbors are, de are at their fields. You are really getting angry this time, asked the worker. No, no, I was only telling you it is the time to go home now. Okay, let us go home. When they reached the house, the owner found a guest waiting for him. He sent the farmer to slaughter a sheep for the guest. Which sheep shall I slaughter? asked the farmer. Any you can catch, said the owner. 
the farmer left not long after the owner ran outside and saw his its whole flock lying over there. What have you done? he cried. May, may the God punish you. You told me to slaughter any I could catch and I caught them all outside the worker. You are getting angry. No, no, I am not getting angry. I am sorry. All right then. He decided to take his wife to the woods to tell her to climb a tree, sit over there and call out like a cuckoo. Then told the farmer to go for hunting in the forest. When they entered the woods, the owner's wife began to call out as a cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo! The, the owner turned to his worker and said, Aha! There's the first cuckoo and now you are free again. But the worker didn't believe. No, he said. How can a cuckoo call in winter? I am going to shoot it. I killed it, said the worker. Cursed be you for the god. I bet you didn't kill. Ah, now you admit that you are angry, cried the worker. Yes, yes, I'm angry. I'll give you the money. Just go away and leave me in peace. The younger brother tore the paper signed by elder brother and went happily home with thousand rubles.